Hi, this is a video um, where we're going to look at um, an unknown compound um, that this is kind of the process. So if you have an unknown compound, but you know what elements are in it, um, you can do combustion um, where you get um, you burn the substance and then you'll get carbon dioxide and water and other things. Um, but what we focus in on are um, the water and the carbon dioxide. So we assume that this sample for the one we're going to do, I think it's carbon, um, hydrogen, and nitrogen, but we don't know, you know, what the empirical formula is. Um, so we can figure out the amount of hydrogen by using the water um, amount, and then we can figure out the carbon by using the carbon dioxide amount. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. It's a little bit different than some of our other empirical formula problems. <clears throat> so here's the question. Um, so we know that we have a 0.1156 gram sample. We're not sure, but you know we know that it has carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen in it. Again, we don't know these subscripts. Um, and then once the combustion happens, we get 0.1638 grams of CO2, and we get 0.1676 grams of water. So we're assuming that the carbon in the CO2 and the carbon in the compound are the same. And we're assuming this hydrogen in the water comes from the hydrogen of the compound. So um, the first thing that you want to do that is um, new to us is we're going to set up a <clears throat> Um, uh, mass fraction. So um, for carbon, we're going to compare the mass of just the carbon in carbon dioxide to the mass of the CO2. So it's kind of like you're doing a percent comp problem, but you're not going to divide and um, multiply by 100. So we know that in um, 44.0 one grams of carbon dioxide, there's going to be 12.01 grams of carbon. So then what we're going to do, this is what we call this mass fraction. We're going to use it. So I know that I have 0.1638 grams of CO2. So if I multiply by that fraction, You can see then that I would know then how many grams of carbon um, are in the carbon dioxides that we collected, but then we can assume that's the same as how many or how much carbon is in the compound. So uh, when I do this, I get 0 0.4470 grams of carbon. So similarly, I can do a mass fraction for the hydrogen in water, which because there's two, I would do, you know, two times 1.008. And then I would, there's that much many grams of water in 18.02 grams. I mean, that many grams of hydrogen in 18.02 grams of water. So now, similar to what we just did, we would take our amount of water and we're going to multiply by that fraction to figure out how many grams of hydrogen were collected when there was this combustion reaction. And when I do that calculation, I get this much. So now that I have the mass from the sample compound of hydrogen and carbon, we do have one more element that we need to figure out the grams for. So we know that the mass of the nitrogen is just going to equal the mass of the sample minus the mass of the carbon 
and hydrogen. So the mass of the samples, give it in the question. The mass of the carbon we just calculated and the mass of the hydrogen we just calculated. So <clears throat> the mass of the nitrogen then is 0 0.052, can't read my own writing, 1.5. I'm going to double check that. So, so the only new part here was that mass fraction. Let me just do this calculation with you. Two, yeah, 215. So now I have the mass of all three of the elements in the compound. And now it's just a straightforward empirical formula problem where you're going to want to convert each of those to moles and then divide by the smallest moles to get the whole numbers that are in this um, unknown sample. So I'll do it with you. You could definitely pause and do it on your own and then check, but I will just keep working. So I'm going to take my amounts, like I said, my carbon, and I'm going to convert it into moles of carbon. And then I'm going to similarly do my hydrogen. And then lastly, I'll do my nitrogen. And I think it's, so now we're gonna divide by the smallest number, which is this number. Um, so I'm going to take and figure out my carbon. The number of moles. Um, so we know we can see that's about one. And the hydrogen. Over the smallest mole. So for my hydrogen, I think I end up getting like 4.99 or something, but we're going to say five. And then nitrogen is going to be exactly equal to one. So then we're going to have that formula of C um, H five N. So just to review, <clears throat> this is a, a way to figure out the empirical formula when you have done a combustion of an unknown compound. If you do that with an apparatus like this, you can figure out exactly how many grams of water and carbon dioxide are produced. You can assume all of the hydrogen in the water came from the compound and all of the carbon and the carbon dioxide came from the compound. The new part is that we're going to compare the... Um, mass of, we're going to do a mass fraction. So the mass of the carbon in the carbon dioxide and then the mass of the hydrogen in the water. We're going to use that conversion to convert the amount of carbon dioxide grams into grams of carbon and the amount or grams of water into grams of hydrogen. And then we know the sample size, and we're going to subtract the mass of both the carbon and the hydrogen to get the mass of the nitrogen. Once we have those three masses, then we can easily convert to moles and divide by the smallest number of moles to get the whole numbers that are in the empirical formula. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions in class.